this apartment complex looks like it's ready to collapse, like it's going to be an imminent collapse. Look at all of these cracks oh. along the walkway here outside some of the units. And look how it's buckled up there and it looks like big chunks are ready to come flying off. It's already buckling upward. And check out this, you've got total concrete spalling here with the rebar rods and look at the delamination of the concrete there. And then under the staircase, look at this, you've got rebar poking out and more rebar on this side of this staircase. So here, it, the concrete is completely shot and it's no longer even rated to hold the loads that it was designed to hold. But it's just amazing when you look at, the, see the curvature of this particular slab here? There's something going on at this building. The Royal Towers Apartments is located in Manhattan, Kansas. And here you can see the view from the street. It looks like a reasonably decent brick building, but looks can be deceiving, folks. Let's take a close-up look. So these videos were taken by one of our subscribers, Brett Kale, who lives in the area. And he posted some of these on his TikTok channel as well over the course of a few weeks. And some of these videos went viral and they also also caught the attention of the local fire department, which according to the local news reports, the building has some violations. Think I'll give this little tug a lucky little check for safety violations. Uh, we don't know what the specifics are of these violations. It's most likely the chipped up sidewalks that you see here. It's just amazing how any management company could allow the walkways in front of your units there like these to crumble to this state. And forget about whether or not this is even a structural issue. What about just the tripping hazard? At the very least, this is a tripping hazard. And how this was allowed to go on this far without getting patched up up until now is just beyond me. And when you look at some of these other videos, here of the building it's amazing that this building is even still standing now these tiktok videos were posted by one of our subscribers brett kale who is a delivery driver brett also shot the horizontal videos that you're seeing here exclusively just for us oh my god i'm just touching it with my finger that should not happen to rebar i can fit my fist in there this is no joke this is so unsafe Okay, so let's take a look at this previous clip here because I wanna show you something with these two beams that are just mind blowing. So what he's doing here is you can see he's putting his fist inside this. This is a beam, an actual support beam. And you can see that it has suffered numerous cracks. And look at this, chunks of concrete here are ready to just fall off right now just by touching it. So this is very severe concrete spalling that you're seeing. And that's the rebar, the actual reinforcement bar that's inside the middle of the concrete is now exposed because it has gotten wet over the years and expanded and caused the concrete to shatter and crack. This has now compromised this support beam. And look at all of these massive cracks along the intersection of the two beams. And you just saw this damage is not only in the one beam on the right, but it goes around the corner to the left to the other beam. So now you have two very critical 90 degree beams that are damaged. So here we had that Port Royal condominium in Hialeah in Miami that was evacuated a few months ago that I showed you in that other video. So my question is, is they evacuated that building because a couple of beams had some cracks and they even put shoring poles under them and everything to shore them up. And they evacuated a building just for that. Why didn't these guys up here in Manhattan, Kansas evacuate that apartment building? I mean, after all, college students are living in there. So I guess people have a short memory, you know, and they just forget certain things that happen, like this big condo collapse in Miami of the Champlain Tower South condominium. And this made national headlines. So I know everybody's got to know about this. Also, the Champlain Towers had advanced warning days before the collapse when they noticed a whole bunch of cracks on these planters out on the pool deck there. And that was their chance to stop this from happening. But everybody just overlooked it and said, no, there's nothing wrong and moved on with their lives. But history has taught us time and time again, when we ignore the warning signs like this, that disaster will follow. Uh, their problem up there in Kansas is probably they're so far removed from Miami here Maybe they didn't get the memo. Maybe they didn't know that there was a condominium that collapsed here almost two years ago that took 98 lives with it, all because of arrogance and people looking the other way. Here's an area of the catwalk sidewalk in front of the doors where you can see individual reinforcement rebars were falling apart, literally. And that's causing the sidewalk to sag and crack. And here's more of them here. Oh my. God. They put in a new piece of concrete and they freaking use duct tape and a piece of wood. 
It just keeps falling over. If you live in the Royal Towers, I suggest you move immediately. This place is getting worse and worse day by day. Guys, this is, this is no freaking joke. And here we can see at the bottom of that same catwalk there, just look how it's all disintegrated. You're even losing massive sections of the concrete. How in the world can that be safe? And how hasn't this not been condemned by now? It's beyond me. Just take a look at this compromised staircase here. Would you want to walk down these steps? Here's all of the chunks of concrete that have fallen down off of the building below into the grass. And just look how that soffit has delaminated like this. This is just gonna cave in on somebody's head when they walk under it. And then over here by the center stairwell, you can see there's cracks all over these support beams here and the columns. And then he's zooming into these other columns down here. And then of course on the sidewalk there, it's all delaminating and getting ready to fall apart. There's just massive amounts of internal spalling taking place in all of these sidewalks, even down below. See the cracks down there, cracks up here. It's everywhere, it's nothing but cracks. Oh yeah, I feel perfectly safe going up these stairs here. Said no, Jeff, ever. Cracks all over the place. Look at this, and look at this. That's a tripping hazard right there. I hope they got cited for that one. Look at that nonsense. That's just unbelievable. And this one here is unbelievably mind-blowing. Look how the top of the sidewalk has buckled upward there. And you're going to tell me this building is safe? Here's another shocker here. Just look how much of that sidewalk has totally disintegrated right under it. You got big chunks that are already missing there. And then check this out here. You turn the corner here and look at all of this massive amounts of spalling. And I don't even see any warning signs about unsafe surface or anything. So everywhere you turn around and look, there's nothing but cracks everywhere. Just cracks and delamination and spalling. And right here, here's the daytime view of those two beams we showed you earlier. Look at that. Just shows you just how this thing is ready to completely collapse. And the cracks are not isolated. They go all the way around these beams. Well, I would love to set up a little webcam outside that building because you know that thing's coming down. It's imminent, folks. It's not even a matter of if. It's a matter of just when is it going to happen. I mean, you saw all of those cracks on those beams that are all connected together. They're no longer rated to support the load that they were designed to support. So any day now, that could just come collapsing down. So as long as people are ignorant to history and as long as they're ignorant to the fact that the Champlain Tower South condominium collapsed here in Miami two years ago, these types of collapses are going to just keep on happening. So thank you so much for joining us today, folks, and we'll see all of you on the next one.